Welcome students to the first video in our Frogger making a video game series. Uh, my name is Mr. Rich and I'm here to help you walk through some of the steps. Um, I'm using the web browser version of Scratch, sometimes called Scratch 3. Um, so hopefully your web browser version and my web browser version look very similar. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the cat. As nice as the cat is, it's time for a new creature to appear. And I'm going to go and choose a sprite um, that more better suits our Frogger game. And so all down through the list, you can see all these different creatures that you can choose. And I'm just go ahead and choose uh, a frog. It's a very similar frog that I've been using in my Frogger games for a long time. What you can do is if you want to edit that frog's costume, it's really easy to do. Um, the frog was made using vector graphics. So as you highlight over different pieces of the frog, um, they're all editable using um, the nodes or using the um, areas. I'm just going to get rid of the tongue. It just seems like it's um, not useful for what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to delete that part of the tongue. And uh, I can also very quickly just edit the eyes to make them a little bit smaller. So um, the reason I'm going to do this is uh, I'm going to make them pop a little later on. Um, and, and we will uh, we'll go from there. So please take a moment just to get your creature um, and get them ready to go. We're going to add some more costumes later on. We don't yet need to convert it to a bitmap. I think it's going to be a lot more fun if we leave it as a vector graphics creature. If you chose a creature that is already in bitmap form, that's okay. We'll just find some other ways to edit it. So that's all for video one. When you're done, please go back to the code area. You should see your frog uh, here that you can kind of move around. You should see a little frogger um, grayed out up here and we're ready to add some code. So that's gonna happen in video two.